Well, money from last year's opioid settlement is finally reaching Wisconsin addiction treatment and prevention programs. The state's Department of Health Services has so far given out $9.8 million of the more than $30 million it received. That money will be used on education and prevention, making free Narcan and fentanyl test strips available, and grant funding to Nash tribal nations. The emergency medicine doctor at Gunderson Health System says it's a step in the right direction, but there are still gaps. It doesn't go far enough for things like medication assistant treatment. Um, in addition, uh, inpatient treatment services only had for residential treatment, I think two and a half million was slated for that. And th that won't go very far when it's spread across the entire state. Dr. Eberlein says since the pandemic, opioid overdose deaths have been on the rise. He says increasing mental health services and prevention services can help people who are living with addiction.